All right, I'm going to try to do an answer to a post that Richard Delaney had on the Rope Lab. And is, I think the only way I can try to explain what um, I see this as. And so I've just set up a pulley system that's very much like his diagram. And I really hope he doesn't mind me using video to try to explain this. I'm sure he'll come out with a much better explanation than I can and clarify everything. But I just, I found this very, very interesting what he had set up. And I'll post a little picture of of his. And, and I, again, he deserves all the credit for this. I'm just trying to put a response out there. And um, if you guys don't know who he is, and you work with ropes, you need to fix that. So I've got two pulleys up here, the pulley down here, and then my weight. His diagram is very much like, like this. All I've done, so uh, that's kind of the diagram he has right there. There's a guy over here and there's a guy over here. This is my right guy and the left guy. If they both pull together, there is no mechanical advantage. In other words, they're just, you know, if they come down a foot, that goes up a foot, but they have to do it together so that there's a shared load. So they're each taking half of that load. Um, and you'll notice that the sheave on the pulley is not rotating. It's a moving pulley, but the pulley's not moving. So. If one guy stops working and the other guy continues to work, now you can see that the, the pulley, the sheave on the pulley is actually rotating. I've said many times that pulleys are force multipliers. That means that it can be a multiplication of two, it can be a multiplication of 0.5. It doesn't have to be greater than one. It just is a force multiplier. And so when this guy pulls down right here, that only goes up halfway. In order to get that to go, I have these lines for something else, but if in order to get that to go up one full deal, I've got to go two. All right. So it's a two to one mechanical advantage. Um, same thing with the other side, the other guy. It's a two to one mechanical advantage. If they both do it, notice right here, if I line, let's line this up with that line right there. If they both pull together, then there's no mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage, no mechanical advantage. And I know I'm not gonna put a measure on this, but I can feel with my hands, that the load is no different. I, you know, if I if I do this, I've raised it one line. If I do twice with just one size, I raised one line. So the amount of work that I'm doing um, with each hand is identical. So two to one mechanical advantage because you're a hauling system and not to get this confused, but again, that moving pulley thing, if this was a climber going up the rope, it'd be a three to one mechanical advantage and he'd be climbing. But that's, that's a whole different kind of a deal. But I just, I don't know, this stuff is just intriguing to me. So no mechanical advantage, two to one mechanical advantage. It doesn't matter if I'm pulling out here. There's no mechanical advantage. No mechanical advantage. Same thing if I went all the way above this and I pulled, no, me no mechanical advantage. As long as both of them are pulling and as long as this sheave is not rotating, there will be no mechanical advantage. Now, if one is fixed, if this guy's holding it, then, and I pull up, now I have a mechanical advantage. 
again, it doesn't matter if I'm pulling this direction, straight down or straight up, it's a two to one mechanical advantage for that load. Now, <clears throat> on while we're talking about this, um, since that's a two to one, it wouldn't matter what I put out here on, on this line with some other multiplications of pulleys. I mean, it could be a gear, it could be any kind of a simple machine you put out here, it's gonna be multiplied by this. So if I, if I put a three to one out here on my right side, it's gonna interact with the two to one, give me a six to one mechanical advantage. Whatever I put out here is, is whatever you put out there. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a pulley, it can be something else that generates a mechanical advantage as well. So that was part of his other, other diagrams there. What kind of intrigued me is what happens when both of these guys are pulling, but maybe this guy, my left, my left guy, isn't working as hard as the right guy, right? So let's say they're, let's say they're both right here and they're pulling, but this guy's only pulling a third and this guy's pulling two thirds. Does that change the mechanical advantage? And no, it doesn't, but it does change the ratio of how much work each guy is doing. This guy's obviously only doing a third as much work as this guy is, but they're still both dealing with a two to one mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage, mechanical advantage, no mechanical advantage. And one way to know in this configuration that you're having a mechanical advantage, as soon as this sheave right here, as soon as this rotates, as soon as that rotates, there's mechanical advantage. If it's not rotating, there is no mechanical advantage. So if these are going down and one exceeds the other just by a little bit, now all of a sudden we've induced mechanical advantage because the sheave on the pulley is moving. As soon as that sheave stops, there is again no mechanical advantage. These don't have to be equal anymore, but there's no mechanical advantage. So let's just do this. We've got no mechanical advantage. Now we have mechanical advantage that's only on this side. Now we have mechanical advantage on both sides, but one guy's doing more work than the other guy. The mechanical advantage hasn't changed. And on the diagram, there was an example of, I guess I can do that. On the diagram, there was an example of just being out on one side. It's really the same. It's the same scenario if it's out on this side. If I pull one, I have a mechanical advantage. If I pull the other, I have a mechanical advantage. If I pull them both, I have no mechanical advantage. So um, we're talking about the hands. The right hand, mechanical advantage. Left hand, no mechanic, uh, mechanical advantage. Both hands tied together, no mechanical advantage. Hope I said that right. Um, I don't know, very, very intriguing to me. So, What I did is I secured the load. And now if I pull up on each one, and you can tell the difference, but there's no mechanical advantage. It's just like if the sheave was not turning. In other words, both of these are going straight up and down, no mechanical advantage. But if I pull down on one, now this guy's got the whole, there's no shared load anymore. And obviously he's pulling that all down and there's no, there's no mechanical advantage.
in the pole. It's just a straight hauling system. No mechanical advantage and no shared load.